Hey friends, welcome to today's video. Today is going to be the greatest day of your life. You know what? I love it when people go out and try. I love it when folks try to succeed. And if you're going out and trying to open a business and I'm in the area, I'm going to stop in and support your small business. You know why? Because I love the fact you've stepped out. I want to support you. I want to encourage you to do your own thing so you can have the successful life that you want to have. And you know what? And it takes a lot to step out. It takes a lot to step out and try to open a small business, especially in today's economic environment. I have a friend local here in Fort Collins, uh, somebody that my wife and I know, who recently opened a marketplace and eatery. And so we've gone in and supported them quite a bit. And as we were talking, we were sitting there enjoying everything they have to offer. It's, it's a wonderfully inviting community environment. Um, my wife and I were talking and we got to thinking, you know, what are some ways that we could be supportive and have it not cost us a dime? You know, and many people want to support their friend who's a small business owner, and they want to do all they can to be supportive so they can play a part in helping their friends succeed. And you probably have friends who have started a business as well. But think about this. Not all of us can afford to spend our hard-earned cash to keep someone else's business open, even if they are a friend. And you know, what's more, maybe the product or service that's being offered just isn't something that you genuinely need. But you know what the good news is? It is, even though it's something that you may not be able to use, there is somebody out there who can. And by being supportive and helping your friend to succeed, you are doing them a favor that can probably never be repaid. You know, word of mouth advertising and the support that you offer as a, as a friend will keep them going, give them the energy to come back tomorrow and do the best that they possibly can. But what are some ways that we can continue to support our friends without having it cost us anything? Well, you know, you can spread word, spread the word when you're networking. You know, even though you may not need the products or services that your friend is offering, other people do. And word of mouth referrals is really effective in helping businesses to attract clients, especially since potential customers tend to view personal recommendations as being a lot more trustworthy than some other forms of marketing. You know, advertising and anonymous online reviews give information, but people trust you. And, you know, don't restrict your networking efforts to just business settings either. You know, think about this. Whether you're out of the social gathering, chatting with your friends at work, or in some other type of a casual setting, it's perfectly okay to give your friend's business a shout out, you know, because somebody else may be in the market for the services that you're touting. And you're helping your friend out, you know, and when you help other people, you feel so good. You know, the giver always gets more than the getter. So as you're sharing with others in your community about a friend's business, you're not only helping them, you're also helping your friend and you're helping yourself to a big old smile on your face and a whole ton of positivity. And you know what? That'll take you everywhere. Having a great amount of positivity in your life helps you build the kind of life that you want to live. You know, another free thing that you can do um, that doesn't take a lot of time, tap into your social media. You know, in-person referrals are super, super, super effective. You know, don't discount them in any way. But, you know, they're also limited to the number of people that you see on a daily basis. And you see, with social media, you can spread the word far and wide throughout a much larger network of people who know and trust you. You know, and if your friend has a social media page for their business, Take a moment to leave a review or engage with their content. It doesn't matter if you're a wordsmith or you have the ability to write extremely well. Most of the time, we can use AI to support that aspect of our lives these days. But, you know, shares and likes as well, even if you don't leave a big wordy review, if you share their content, their website, and you give them a like on social media... It helps to improve their rankings. And when you improve their rankings, their content becomes more visible to other people. So you see, if you use your own accounts, you can share a little love and help your friend to be more successful. 
doesn't cost you a dime to like and, and share and love their content on the internet, right? You know, visit their website as well. You know, most businesses have a website that they use not only to showcase their products and services, but they're also using that, remember, to attract potential customers as well. So if your friend has a website, take some time to read their what's on the site, whether it's a blog or other people's comments, but make sure that you leave a positive comment yourself. And you know, just be sure not to leave too quickly because when you go to somebody's website and jump off it quick, Google can identify that as a bounced traffic instance and that can negatively impact their rankings with a lot of bounces over time, okay? But, you know, even though that would have a negative impact on their site's rankings, you, I cannot tell you how much a positive content and your individual interaction with their website will benefit them in the long run, you know? And explore their site thoroughly, you know, and thoughtfully. Spend some time on each page. Look at the items and the products that they offer. Provide feedback if you can. You know, this kind of interaction can go a long way towards improving their rankings on search engines and also just improve the site overall because you know what? Your positive feedback will have a positive impact on their positive experience moving forward. You know, and there's there's other ways to help. You know, if you don't do social media, maybe you're not technologically in, or you do, you're not a, a people person where you're outspoken in, in social events and in large groups, there are other ways that you can help. Think about this. Opening a business is a huge task and it's monumental and it can wear on somebody. So maybe your friend is overwhelmed right now and could use an extra set of hands to help them pack, ship, or move items. You never know what they might meet or need or how you might be able to help, but reach out. You know, maybe they need some help researching new suppliers or even new markets to tap into, or maybe they just need a fresh set of eyes on a new website or blog post. You know, if you've got a few extra hours to pitch in, your help could make a huge difference in how they progress. You know, not only in their business operations, but also in your friend's peace of mind. Support their mental health. You know, sometimes a hug or a shake of the hand and a I support you comment, you have no idea how far that can go in the mind of somebody who's racing and working, trying to be successful in a tough economic environment. You know, just the fact that they're trying deserves your support. So a smile on your face and a firm handshake and a, hey, I'm here for you. If there's anything I can do for you, just let me know. That goes a long ways with people. We need to support each other. You know, sometimes we forget about the psychological aspect of life. We look at somebody opening a business. We think about serving customers, inventory, um, revenue generation, you know, monetary flow. We think of all these different aspects of the business itself. One thing we need to remember is usually when a new business is opened, they have a lot of new employees. Have you ever been a new employee somewhere before? Let me tell you, it's not always easy. They're learning new tasks. They're doing the best they can to impress a new boss. And you know, that's their life. So they want to be supported and they want to feel like they're doing something meaningful as well. So don't forget the staff. Be kind. You know, when a business is just opening up, be patient. And let them know, hey, look, I know you just opened. I'm here to support you. Is there anything I can do to help you? And then also let them know you're doing a good job. Sometimes just by telling somebody they're doing a good job, you can make their week, their month, or you know what? That might even be an experience that they share with people for a long time to come. It's important. Make sure you remember they're human beings. They're not robots. They're there to help you, to serve you, and to do the best job they can. Support that aspect of their efforts, okay? You know, and just be there as a friend. Remember, life can be stressful. <clears throat> Imagine starting a new business and then running that business on top of all the daily stress that you normally have. You know, it's easy to see how a little friend time can make a big difference to someone 
who is feeling a little burned out. You know, and it's easy to burn the candle at both ends trying to be successful up front. Those first couple of weeks can be just tough, you know. So just letting your friend know you're there. You know, I'll maybe sit down and have a cup of coffee with them or buy them a, a gift card for a spa treatment or just chat on the phone or online. You know, that can be all it takes to help them get through a really tough time. And it's also a great way to forge strong bonds with people, bonds of friendship that can help you feel more connected in your community. You know, most of us make resolutions to improve our own lives during the new year. And this year, make supporting your friend and their business a priority too. You know, good friends are always worth nurturing. And good friendships are always worth nurturing as well. You know, and when it comes to supporting your friend's small business, you don't need to, uh, you don't need to be upset if you don't have the budget to do so. All it takes is an investment of time. You know, and you want to make sure that you do support your friend and that you, you care about them and that you help them to move forward. Because if you opened a business, wouldn't you want people to be there for you as well? Well, you know what? Right now, whatever you're doing, you're just in training for the great things that are coming your way. And, you know, a year ago, I didn't think I would be on YouTube doing this. And I can tell you right now, you may not think that you'll be a business owner in the future, but I'm telling you anything is possible. We have no idea how things will align in the universe to bring us the success that we want in our lives and to build the most beautiful life of dream accomplishment that we can ever possibly build. You know, and I just want to mention one time, uh, my friend Kat, who opened her business last week, it's called Stoneflower Market and Eatery. And uh, at Stoneflower, they have an emphasis on community. You know, everybody's welcome there. It's so interesting. Whenever we go in there and sit down over the last couple of weeks, I'll notice older folks and younger folks come in, they'll walk in the front door and they'll say, hey, Kat, and Kat will come out and give them a hug. And, you know, they really aim to please. They have a really good, affordable wine list. Um, they do, as you know, we live in Fort Collins, so I don't, they have to do this. Uh, they feature five local breweries, and they make a majority of the sauces, crackers, breads, and condiments from scratch. And I want to tell you, my daughters love pickles, and they have the best homemade pickles. They are bread and butter pickles. They have dill pickles. Yes. And they are wonderful. They are so good. Um, they're actually making us a couple of quart jars on the side. And my daughters are going to go nuts when they find out that I'm bringing home a couple of quart jars of homemade pickles. But also they have these wonderful crackers. They are uh, honeycomb crackers and they are wonderful. You know, they don't sell them in their marketplace yet, but they have plans to do so. I want to tell you a little um, a little thing about this new business, Stoneflower Market and Eatery. We said to Kat, we said, my daughter just loves these crackers. First thing out of her mouth. Wait one second. She comes back. They make these in-house, right? So they're homemade. So they can't just go back and open a box. They only have what's been made. And she brings us out this bag, and it's just this cute little bag. And she said, here, these are for your daughter. Well, we're going to make more tomorrow, and uh, you can come back in and get some more. And my daughter was so excited to get these little homemade crackers. They're so delicious and wonderful. But, you know... I want to do everything I can to support their success. And that's what friends do for friends. And you know, when you choose to spend your money with Stoneflower Market and Eatery, the thing I love about them is that they reinvest that money in our local Fort Collins community. And you know what? I want to tell you something. That matters. And so we're going to continue to go in there and do business with them. Um, our experience has been walk in the door, uh, find a place to sit down. Um, we love watching the food come out of the kitchen because it looks phenomenal. And you know, my wife and I, we go to some of the greatest places in Denver, Colorado, but the food that comes out of the kitchen at Stoneflower Market Eatery, it looks as good as anything we've seen anywhere else. And it smells delicious. Um, they have a great Cabernet that we enjoy. It's at its priced economically. 
and we just really love going in there. Um, I love to see smiles on everybody's face, and I love to go to happy places where people are upbeat, you know, and you don't have a lot of, ne you don't have no negativity whatsoever. It's a 100% positive environment. Uh, they have a cute little uh, seating area outside, or you can sit inside. Um, the one thing that I really liked about going into Stoneflower Marketplace and Eatery and why I want to support them, when Kristen and I went in there on the day that they opened, uh, we sat at a table up front, and I was listening in on some of the staff conversation, and Kat walked over to her staff, and she said, make sure you, uh, this is our soft opening, so make sure that you speak with each customer, ask them what they like, what they don't like, and then bring that feedback back here, and we're going to take all that into account. I also noticed Kat out at every table. Uh, shaking hands, smiling, asking how people were enjoying uh, their experience. I got to tell you, it's a phenomenal place. You can see two businesses selling the exact same products right across the street from each other. One is doing business one way, the other is doing business another. One succeeds, one fails. If you go into Stoneflower Market and Eatery, what you're going to see is a, a recipe for success. When you're a business owner and you're out shaking hands and smiling and being happy with your customers and taking their feedback and implementing it, you're working and walking down a path of success. So Kat, I said I would mention your business today. I wanted to do so. If you're in the Fort Collins area, you're looking to experience good customer service, good food, and just be able to relax and hang out and have a nice time, um, go to Stoneflower Marketplace and Eatery. You're going to love it. If you see Kristen and I in there, come over to the table and say hello. I'll give you a goal card. We can talk about success or you can tell me about your experience, um, your family, things like that. Let's just sit down and have a conversation together, okay? So whether you see me or whether you just see a room full of happy people, I want to support my friend and the business that they just recently opened. So please, um, in the description of this video, I'll put a link to their website and also a a little synopsis of what they have to offer. I recommend that if you have a friend who has started a business recently or has owned a business for some time, but you haven't had a chance to really support them yet, why not this weekend take a chance to share their business on your social media page? Go out, look at your friend's business website. You know, don't shy away from this because we need to support each other. We need to stick together. We have to, because you know what? Together we stand, divided, you know how that goes. We fall, yes. And if we support each other and stand together and support each other's businesses, we are going to have so much success, so much positivity, and so many good things in our lives. It's going to be wonderful. You know what? I believe in you. I want you to be the best you that you can be. And I just care about you so much and I want to see you do well. I'm going to be back tomorrow with some more great stuff, some more recommendations and ideas. Let's keep this train moving forward. There, You are on the path to success right now. As we continue to walk down this path, you're going to realize new dreams, new desires, and we're going to work together towards getting those attained for you. Have a beautiful day, friends. I'll be back tomorrow with some more great stuff. Take care.